can't wait to go to prison for being a Christian. Persecution is something we're told in the Bible that we should expect as Christians, but there is an extremely troubling trend on TikTok that I need to address, and we need to cut this out right now. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Isaac David, and this is the Daily Disciple, where I, I help you find Jesus and follow him daily. I didn't know, I almost didn't get that right. Where I help you find Jesus and follow him daily. Um, for those of you who don't know, I put out daily content, and that is only possible through the support of everyone on Patreon. It is an amazing blessing to have you guys over there. Part of one of the perks of being a patron is that you get discount codes on merch and i just want to announce look at this baby we got merch follow jesus daily this is one of our designs but uh you know check it out now onto the video now i want to preface this and i'll say this again later but this isn't calling this girl out specifically i don't uh, i'm not trying to bash her or you know condemn her or anything like that i'm sure she's a nice christian girl who who puts out nice content ultimately i want to use this as a teaching tool because a lot of other people are making content along the same lines and i just think this is not Great. One moment, I need to grab my reacting glasses. Okay, we are back. Now I can see the video clearly. Let's do this. I can't wait to go to prison for being a Christian because then I'll go to prison with my fellow Christians and then the guards will become Christian because we're talking to them about Jesus and then they'll go to prison and the new guards will come and then they'll become a Christian and they'll get arrested. And it's just an ongoing thing. It'll be super fun. It's going to be great. I'll bring the popcorn. Okay, so obviously she's kind of playing this off as a joke as well. Um, oh, let me take off my reaction glasses as well. <laughs> she's playing this off as a joke, so she's not totally serious. But I've seen people make way too many jokes about this where there is a level of seriousness, and I've seen sincere videos about this as well, where people are like, well, bring on persecution, right? Because I can take it. I want the persecution. I'm just, it's going to be a fun time where we're all band together as, as brothers and as Christians, and we're just going to go for it, right? Because we have a soft view of what persecution actually is. Is. We see it as kind of like an exciting, fun thing. Like, let bring it on. Well, let's be ready for it, and let's do this. It's gonna be great. Us Christians gathering together, and we're gonna sing songs and that kind of thing. It's like persecution, especially going on in other countries right now, is insane. It is tragic and it is beyond anything that you can comprehend at this point. Here's what the Bible has to say about it. Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Okay. It doesn't say, oh, we should desire to be persecuted. We desire to have a godly life, to live a godly life and let the results fall where they may. Our desires ought to be oriented towards Christ regardless of circumstance. Now, I don't want to over-exaggerate the point. This is just one girl making one video about persecution and, and obviously partially a joke for sure, but I've seen enough of these kind of videos that are talking and fantasizing about being persecuted. We create these fantasies for ourselves that seem to heighten our role for Christ and bring excitement into our lives. I can relate to this. Like back when I was a teenager, perhaps maybe you've even had this same dream of being in a church or at your house and an intruder comes in and he's like trying to shoot up the place and you're like, no, I'm going to do everything possible. I'm going to tackle him. I'm going to take him down. I'm going to sacrifice myself. And you have this fantasy of like being the hero and laying your life down. And that's so exciting. And it brings so much purpose to your life. But then you return home and you're incapable of doing the dishes or you don't want to clean your room. Like it's like we heighten these, these amazing fantasies and get so excited. I'm going to live for Christ. I'm going to do all these things for him. But then we can't do the bare minimum. You know, man, I can't wait to be persecuted for Christ. Seriously? Yeah, man, it's like, lock me up right now, man. I won't deny Jesus. Yeah, but man, what makes you think you're going to speak up for Jesus when you're not even doing it now? Here's what I'm getting at. Instead of building up these big fantasies of what future persecution could look like and, and fantasizing about being the hero and not denying Christ and, and being that strong Christian, we need to embark on the journey of following Christ in our daily lives, no matter how small or insignificant that may look, because it's about being faithful in our circumstance, not just being faithful, oh, in the future when the stakes are really, really high. Well, can you be faithful? Can you speak up for Christ now at your college, within your family, within your friend group, that's where we begin. Just speaking from personal experience, it's pretty boastful of me to think that I'm going to stand up and, and withstand all this tremendous persecution when I can't even speak up to my professor at college, or I, I can't even share the gospel with somebody on the street with really no ramifications other than social rejection. So here's my encouragement for you. Ground yourself in God's word. Read it. If you need reading glasses, that's great. Get some reading glasses. <laughs> Whatever you need to do, get a translation, get an audio Bible. 
I'm dyslexic. I listen to the audio Bible all the time. That's like my primary way of, of getting God's word each day. Um, but whatever you need to do, ground yourself in God's word because when the time comes, when persecution actually does come for real and we're done making jokes about it and we need to be able to know God's word, have it hidden in our heart and be able to stand on something concrete other than just our own thoughts, ideas, and opinions. And we need to remember that God has given us his power and his presence in our lives to overcome the temptation and the trials that we encounter, not just when persecution is massive and tremendous, but in your, on your Monday, when you're tempted to do something that you know is wrong, you have that power and God's presence to overcome that because he's given everything we need for godliness in Christ Jesus. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you got something from it. Thank you again to everyone on Patreon that makes what I do on here possible and helps this ministry keep going and growing. Once again, if you want to pick up some merchandise, yes, it's so fun. Um, the Follow Jesus Daily shirt, there's uh, another design on there and there's some hoodies and, and some beanies and it's, it's a fun spot to be. So you can head on over to the link in my bio to pick up some of that stuff and tag, uh, tag me on Instagram if you want to and I'll repost it for sure. Um, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. God bless.